Uh, I just want to put to bed the idea completely that it's perfectly possible um, for uh, <laughs> for Mr. Putin to be dead at the moment and still responsible for the death of Mr. Uh, 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 Alexei Navalny. How? Putin is the person who put him in prison. Putin is the person who almost certainly had him poisoned with Novichok. Um, uh, maybe Putin didn't single-handedly personally smear his underwear. I wouldn't put that past Putin, but uh, I, I'm sure he delegated that job of smearing. And, uh, and, and he certainly insisted on Navalny being imprisoned. Uh, in contrast, perhaps, to Medvedev, who thought that he was a useful idiot, uh, somebody who could be used to attack other members of the political class. But Navalny exceeded his use. And Navalny was a principled and brave man. Uh, I don't agree with everything Navalny said in any way, but there's many people who I like, who I don't agree with. And I think one has to make that distinction between people's views uh, and whether people are good, principled, essentially kind people. And I think Navalny was a good man in a way that Mr. Putin is not. Uh, I don't think Mr. Putin was irredeemable, but before his death, he should have recanted and should have repented and should have reformed. He hasn't. So he's there with the peas. And uh, somebody has said here, how can a corpse in a refrigerator kill Navalny? Well, I think very easily. Um, Navalny was a dead man walking from the moment he was put into the um, Arctic prison. There's a very interesting and very entertaining film, just to lighten the tone before we all run off to bed. A very interesting film, one of the um, hammer horror films. I think it's called Frankenstein Created Woman. And there's a scene that runs as the credits are running. It's a gorgeous scene. And Peter Cushing is pulled out of the refrigerator. He's covered in ice and he's electrocuted back into life. And he sits up. He's wearing his um, tweed jacket. He sits up in the waistcoat, pulls out his fob watch and says, I have been dead for fully five minutes and my soul has not left my body. And I, 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 think, of, I think of that every time I think of Mr. Putin sitting among the peas. Uh, either that or Dracula rises from the grave. <laughs> Have you seen, uh, on the subject of Hammer Horror, one of the Hammer Horror films I particularly liked was Dracula AD 72. Uh, Peter Cushing as Dracula hardly appears, but um, it's such a romp. And the, the satanic rites of Dracula. These were the attempts to put Dracula into the uh, in, 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 into modern day. Stephanie Beecham was in one of those. I forget which one it was. And um, great, great fun. I, I love the old Hammer horror films. I, I think the first Hammer horror film I ever saw when I was quite young, um, probably too young to be exposed to it, but it was on sort of late at night and I snuck downstairs to watch it, was um, The Night Creatures, with Peter Cushing playing some sort of preacher who'd previously escaped hanging and he had this sort of mark around his neck and... Um, maybe I've just spoilt the ending for you. But Peter Cushing is one of the greats of cinema. And, of course, he was the commander of the Death Star in the first Star Wars. And um, uh, an absolute gentleman. I, I think he, I, I think among, among other roles he played, he was a superlative Sherlock Holmes um, with Andre Morel as probably the best ever Dr. Watson.